then let us take a look at uh, uh, the other amplifiers that we have seen namely the common drain. So, so this is uh, something this is the I. Uh, RL and let us say this is RL and CL this is CGS and this is CG. Okay. So again, we uh, use the uh, the uh, what do you call first order analysis, right? Of course, you can also you know uh, uh, you can also write uh, you know a full blown uh, expression that will also turn out to be second order, right? And uh, uh, without going through the algebra, can you comment on whether uh, we'll have a zero in the right half plane or we'll have a zero in the transfer function or no? Yeah, the one path through. CGS one path through GN, right? Okay, so it will the uh, zero be in the right half plane or the left half plane? Yeah. So basically, through VX, VX is uh, you know if you pull up VX, the output is uh, this is VO, VO is getting pulled up, right? And uh, uh, GM is also if VX increases, GM is pushing current into VO. So both of them are moving in the same direction. So you should expect to see uh, uh, what do you call uh, an LHP. Uh, 0 right ok. So, uh, what is uh, V O approximately at low frequency is approximately G M R L over 1 plus G M R L times V i and remember uh, you know for you to make a good common drain amplifier what comment can we make about G M R L uh, usually in a good amplifier G M R L is much much larger than 1. So, what comment can you make about uh, 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 the voltage across uh, uh, the CGS is approximately, I mean, okay. So, we is approximately the voltage across CGS is approximately, uh, you know, VI over GMRL. It is actually 1 plus GMRL, but that is, uh, you know, 1 is small compared to GMRL. So, effectively, what does CGS look like? What is the effective capacitance looking in here? Okay. So, this is CGS. This is Vx, right, which is approximately Vi at low frequency. This voltage is approximately Vi GMRL over 1 plus GMRL. This is CGS, okay. So, what is the voltage across this capacitor, man? Yeah, so that voltage is nothing but Vi up upon approximately GMRL, okay. So, what is the current flowing through CGS? Yeah, so what is they looking in uh, effective capacitance looking in CGS divided by GMR, you understand, okay. So basically, yeah, you can see that, I mean this is also like Miller effect except that, that gain is 1 in, uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in the common source amplifier, if this voltage went up by V, this voltage went down by A times V where A was a large number. So, therefore, the CG, I mean that the CGD appeared as if it was multiplied by, by 1 plus A. Now, what is happening? This voltage, if this voltage goes up by V, this voltage is going up also by A V, but where A is approximately 1, right. If A is exactly equal to 1, then what happens? Even though V is going up, the other plane of the capacitor is also going up. So, there is no current voltage across the capacitor. So, no current will flow through it, correct. So, here the voltage is going up, but it is almost going, I mean it is going up almost by the same amount. So, therefore, 
the effective voltage across this capacitor is very small and consequently the uh, current through the capacitor is, is very small and therefore, uh, the looking in uh, capacitance looks uh, like a, is a small fraction of CGS. Hmm? And uh, so, therefore, uh, Vx uh, uh, is therefore, first order analysis Vx by Vi is nothing but 1 by 1 plus S Rs times CGS over Gm. Does it make sense people? Okay. So, now V x to V o what will be the denominator polynomial again? The numerator polynomial will be G m R L over. No, think carefully. This is going to be a numerator polynomial. Let us forget about the numerator. What about the denominator? The denominator polynomial must only be, must be independent of the value of Vx. So, what should you do? Yeah, okay. Now, if you put 0 in place of Vx, what will you get? This is Cgs. That becomes 0, then what happens to that current source? That is V naught. So, this becomes G m V naught and this becomes yeah. So, what is the time constant associated with that node? Yeah, so which is what is the time constant which is greater 1 over I mean GMRL is much much larger than 1. So, what is the time constant approximately? Yeah, CL plus CGS over ok. So, therefore, the pole will be uh, associated will be 1 plus S CL plus CGS over g all right and there'll be a zero i'll let you go and calculate the value of the zero and since i know nobody will calculate it right it will come in exam hmm? so please go work it out in your okay so what is the uh, what is the uh, total transfer function you multiply both these both these guys uh, and uh, you know for the same uh, I mean uh, for the same RL uh, when compared to a common source amplifier what comment can we make about the bandwidth of, of uh, 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 the common drain amplifier. So, V o this is V o by V x. times 1 plus s over omega z divided by 1 plus s times C L plus C G s over G m plus R s C G s over G m R l ok. So, what comment can you make about this versus the same uh, the, if you have the same R s and the same R l in the common source amplifier, what comment can we make about this time constant versus that time constant? This time constant is significantly smaller than the uh, the uh, time constant associated with the common source and why does that make intuitive sense? Because uh, 
remember that uh, the, the gain the what gain are we getting here what incremental gain are we getting at dc uh, you know is approximately 1 so basically you can see that none of the voltages are swinging very much so that basically means that capacitors charging and discharging had to be charged and discharged only to a small amount right whereas in the common source amplifier the output node is swinging a lot that they basically means that the capacitors have to be charged and discharged you know uh, uh, yeah uh, uh, you know uh, a lot of charge is required uh, which takes time to build and therefore uh, uh, equivalent to saying that uh, the, the amplifier is slow you understand okay and as a general rule uh, you know uh, if you attempt to increase uh, the gain right uh, bandwidth will usually fall simply because of this reason and if you want lot of gain that basically means some nodes must swing very much if they have to swing uh, every node is associated with the capacitance if the voltage has to swing a lot it takes time i mean more charges to be pumped into that node right to pull that capacitor voltage up by a larger value and therefore uh, you know it takes a longer time which is equivalent to saying that the bandwidth is reduced okay all right okay so with this i will stop we'll continue tomorrow